All right, my people, we are back in it for another one. Gonna switch it up for a video on the channel today. And we're gonna talk a little Gotham Knights. There's a lot of noise, a lot of nonsense going on about this game right now. And this is a game that I've actually been hyped for. Not as hyped as the Batman games. Like, I love the Batman games, right? The Arkham games, they were all great. Even Arkham Origins, I love that game. I thought it was solid. I think it's hella underrated. I thought I got way more hate than it deserved. You know, there's a couple of annoying things about the game. <laughs> that bridge. Don't even get me started on that bridge, man. That goddamn bridge. But it was, overall, it was a solid game, man. And the same people that made that game are making this game Gotham Knights. And like I said, I am hyped for the game, but I was kind of reserved about it. Right? Like, it's, you know, it's in that family. It's in that DC universe. It's in the Batman family. Same with that Suicide Squad game from Rocksteady coming out, I believe, next year. You know, same kind of deal, right? Like, I am hyped for it, but I'm kind of reserved about it. I got to see a little bit more. And like I've been saying to a lot of people, wondering if I was going to do a playthrough on my second channel for Gotham Knights. They keep asking me, man, yo, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. And it's like, yeah, man, I went to pre-order it like four or five times. <laughs> but every time I see and hear more about this game, I'm less and less interested in the game. Like... When you watch gameplay of this game, right? And you go and watch, say, gameplay of Arkham Knight, which dropped back in 2015 on PS4 and Xbox One. What game looks better to you, in your opinion? You know, I could make an argument right now how Arkham Knight actually looks better than Gotham Knights does. Are you kidding me? This game is only available on new-gen consoles and PC, right? There is no PS4, Xbox One version there. They never had to downgrade anything to make a version of this game for those consoles. And we just found out, it has just been confirmed, that this game is going to be capped at 30 frames per second. And I think I heard somewhere too that there's going to be no crossplay with this game. Now, I don't know how credible that person was that I heard that from, right? So I'm not really tripping on that right now. But 30 frames per second in 2022? That is just, that's unacceptable to me. I see people out here defending this shit, right? They're on Twitter. They're on the socials going crazy. Like, you guys are just crybaby, whiny, baby back little bitches and shit. Yo, just like keyboard warriors, right? Internet tough guys and shit. They got all this shit to say. Dude, in my opinion, all these people that have a problem with a game like this being capped at 30 frames, in my opinion... That's a legitimate beef from every single one of those people. You look at Call of Duty 4, back in 2007, 60 frames per second. Call of Duty 4, 60 frames per second. I feel like I should also add too, that that game was on the PS3 and the motherfucking Xbox 360, 60 frames per second. And now we're on these new gen consoles, Xbox series, PC, PS5, and we're still being capped at 30 frames per second. I think that is just completely unacceptable, man. It's, I mean, how are you going to make a game only for new gen, right? And these are the limitations that you got when we've seen better in the past, in the way past, man. We're talking 2007 and shit. Are you kidding me? So it, like, this comes back to the Arkham Knight thing too, right? How Arkham Knight, in my opinion, I can make an argument why it looks better than Gotham Knight. If Gotham Knights looked incredible, right? It was the, the best graphics we've ever seen yet for a game out on new gen. I could be like, all right, you know what I mean? They put a lot of resources into this. They took a lot of time developing the game to look that beautiful. We got to deal with it stuck at 30 frames. You know, I'll live with it, right? The game is not really a big graphical improvement over Arkham Knight, in my opinion, at all. And like I said, I can make an argument why Arkham Knight looks better. That dropped seven fucking years ago, and we still capped at 30 frames, dude. I just, I can't stress how badly this is unacceptable, in my opinion. This is a game, like I said, I was hyped for, but I was like on the fence about, I was reserved about it, and it's just, dude, I don't know. Like, the more I see about the game, the more I'm just like, Damn, man. Yeah, you guys are switching that up. Ah, man. You want to change up the, the actual combat from Arkham? It just feels like, in my opinion, the developers got a little lazy in some areas with this game, right? They, they could have had a, a true gem on their hands with this game and where the story could go. The story could still be great, 
right? I'm still going to wait and see, you know, watch a couple of reviews from some people that I trust, see a little bit more gameplay and shit. But, you know, it, it, it's hard to judge it completely until you got the game in your hands, right? But I really don't like what I'm seeing and hearing with this game so far. Every time I see something, every time I hear a little bit more, I'm a little less interested in the game. And that's just unfortunate, man, because this was a game that, like I said, I was really one button away like four or five times from pre-ordering this game and then i was just like nah man let, let me just see a little bit more gameplay and you know it just it gets a little bit worse every time i see and hear a little bit more man it sucks right like it just seems to me like the developers have gotten a little lazy with this game in certain areas man and it's frustrating when you're asking this much money for a game people who haven't been able to get ps5s and xbox series consoles they're, they have gone out and bought those consoles just for this game because they can't play it on their Xbox Ones and PS4s, right? And now we're finding out all about this shit, you know, right before the game comes out, man. What kind of fuck shit is that? You're going to have some nerds jump in this video, right? And they're going to be like, oh my God, man, he's actually, he, he he's thinking about not buying the game because of it's capped at 30 frames per second. You're such a loser, dude. Get a light. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now, man? These people, I swear to God, dude, they're fucking little nerds, bro. I just, mm, it's just a slap upside the head, man. Just, just grow something, bro. We're talking about people's money out here, dude. We're talking about 2022. We're talking about new gen consoles. We're talking about Xbox Series X, S, PS5. This is what we're talking about here. A game that has been developed only for those consoles. And we're capped at 30 frames per second in 20 fucking 22, man. Are you kidding me? You, you're really out here soldiering for that? It's a game you haven't even played yet. You don't even know if you like the game. And you're out here soldiering for everything that's right and good with the fucking game. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, man. So I just want to make this video. I don't know where I'm going to upload it. I might upload it to my main channel i might upload it to my second channel fuck i might upload it to both just in case youtube decides to suppress it on my main channel or whatever but i was just making this video for the people that you know were kind of waiting on me possibly doing a playthrough on this game because i was thinking about doing a playthrough on my second channel with this game and then doing the the mw 2022 campaign on my main channel while we're waiting for launch of that and then I could finish up the Gotham Knights playthrough on my second channel leading into God of War, right? So I was going to be busy as hell with all three of these games. And I just don't know anymore, man. Like, honestly, at this point, I'm leaning more towards waiting for Gotham Knights to go on sale. But again, like I said, I'm going to wait to see some reviews from people that I trust. People that have never steered me wrong in the past when I was on the fence about a game. I would go and watch the review. And I knew exactly, basically how i felt about the game without even playing it so I, i'm gonna wait for a couple of those videos and see what it is man but that's it that's all i got on this one let me know what you guys think in the comment section what do you think of gotham knights i'm not all out shitting on the game right there's there's still potential there with the game but like like i'm saying just everything i'm seeing and hearing uh you know it just makes me less and less interested in the game and i personally think 30 frames is just unacceptable in 2022 I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out.